Underneath applications like LinkedIn, Facebook, Uber, and eBay, they're all powered by an underlying concept called Knowledge Graph. But what is a Knowledge Graph? And why should I care to learn about Knowledge Graphs at all? Think of it like this. When you go to your Facebook account, you might have hundreds of friends you are connected with. And among those hundreds of people, they all have their own connections among themselves and also other people that you're not connected to. And representing this entire ecosystem of relationships that isn't static, meaning as time progresses, these relationships also change, can be tricky to represent. While storing them in SQL in a relational database could certainly help, but you're limited to the initial structure that you set up in the database. In other words, even though you might have stored these relationships efficiently in SQL, there's a huge cost in retrieving this knowledge because it requires you to do heavy joins across tables to get what you're looking for. And so the burden of trying to store them for efficient retrieval is often upfront and can have many negative impacts later on. Knowledge Graph stores information in nodes and edges, where people become nodes and the connection becomes the edge. And storing information in this way can have a huge positive impact when it comes to information retrieval for many reasons. Here are two main reasons why Knowledge Graph is powerful. When it comes to knowledge representation, a new type of relationship can just be added by essentially adding a new edge to the existing representation. For example, if all you tracked before was your friendship with other people, and now you have new information that tracks family relationships on top, you can just simply add a new edge on top of the existing knowledge structure without breaking the existing friendship graph. As you can see, a knowledge graph is extremely effective in adding new information and knowledge representation. And the same thing can be said of knowledge retrieval. Earlier, we discussed how SQL has the inherent flaw in the complexity of data retrieval due to heavy joins for complex queries. Let's see what that looks like in knowledge graphs. Instead of relying on the users to construct a complicated query to retrieve data properly from a predetermined table structure, knowledge graph can traverse through the existing knowledge graph and edges. So instead of trying to conceptualize how you'll get the data out, the knowledge graph inherently leverages its existing connections and simply walks through the graph to get the data that you're looking for. So both in knowledge representation and knowledge retrieval side, we have a huge advantage when it comes to a certain type of knowledge.